Hey folks, Chef Jesse here. I haven't seen you guys in a long time, haven't you? Uh, well, it's been busy, you know, this is the holiday season and you know, I got so many things to do. I've been cooking, I've been doing all kind of stuff. Anyway folks, so, but back, today I'm back in the kitchen. Uh, yesterday I was doing some stuff so I couldn't show you my, I actually I didn't cook, I ate order Chinese food. So, and uh, we've been eating, you know, it's just been crazy, it's a crazy schedule. But today we're gonna be eating at home. Of course, I'm in the kitchen right here. Today we're gonna be having Omaha steaks. Now, if for those who don't not familiar with Omaha steaks, I'll show you what it is. These are Omaha steaks, okay? What happens here is you, there's a website you get on there and you order. They they sell packages of different kind of meats and combinations, and they put it in a in a uh, in a foam fridge and they ship it out to you and it comes to your house, nice and frozen. It's got ice inside of it and the whole good thing. So, so we got a package, good one, I actually bought it. Uh, it's got it's got a uh, filet mignon, it had hot dogs, it had uh, it has chicken, it had some potatoes, it's got desserts, some apple tarts. So great stuff for ninety nine dollars, right? And they give you a seasoning, a special seasoning, and you know it's great and um, it's pretty good. I mean, pretty good price. So anyway, that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Today. We're gonna have filet mignon, which is kind of small, but that's how you eat filet mignon. It's small, and then you eat it with other stuff. We're gonna have these potatoes that are, I, I forgot what they are, but we're gonna have the potatoes, we're gonna have the, uh, the steak, and that's about it, potatoes and steaks. No vegetables, because we don't have any vegetables. But, uh, yeah, I'll try to see if I have any vegetables, at least for him. But anyway, folks, that's what we're having today. I'm gonna have some nice bread. I know you guys, uh, some of you are uh, envious of the bread. This is the bread I got today. I got some ciabatta bread. Let me take it out of here and show you. I love this bread. Shibata. And I'm gonna toast this up. I'm gonna slice it up and toast it up with nice and butter and make some nice toasty bread. And uh, let me show you. I already I already sliced up, I already sliced some of it up. There you go. And I'm gonna put some butter on this, I'm gonna put it in the toast oven, I'm gonna toast that up. And uh, let me see, I don't know if I have any uh, I don't think I have anything else here. But oh, we got some vegetables. Give us got oh, we got some uh, asparagus. So maybe we do some asparagus. Asparagus steak and the potatoes right that's what's gonna be it so stay tuned because i'm going to a commercial break so this omaha steak seasoning is included in the 99 dollars uh has salt garlic onion bell pepper orange peel sugar citric acid and all that other good stuff anti-caking so anyway you season the steaks about a half hour before with this and uh you give it fl fl flavor right so but I'm going to be adding flavor. I'm going to be cooking this in butter. I'm going to put some butter on it and some parsley and some other stuff. I'm going to cook it up. You're going to see that. Uh, I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this, the, uh, the steaks. Actually, the steaks, let me show you them. They're actually surrounded with bacon. So I'm going to share this. I'm going to try my best to share the all sides, but the bacon is going to cover it up. But we're going to see what we're going to do. After we share it, we're going to put it in the oven. And we're gonna we're gonna cook it very high at two at least two minutes on each side, and then we're gonna throw it into the oven and finish it off in the oven. And that's the way that I'm gonna cook these filet mignon because that's the way I looked it up. I looked up, you know, I study these recipes, you know, and uh, this is the best way to cook it. So I'm gonna be using a uh, a nice thick semi cast iron. It's not exactly cast iron, but this is. Um, Emil Lagazzi. So I'm gonna count on Emil Lagazzi today to cook my steaks in a good way. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna shave it for about two, three minutes on each side. And then I'm gonna throw it into the oven at a preheated oven at 350, and I'm gonna finish them off with uh, about another four minutes or so. So hopefully this will work. So we're gonna try it out. Okay, so stay tuned. Yes. Okay, so my potatoes are in the oven. It's, I forgot what it is, but it's like, all ground potatoes but it's it looks like a little cup I'll show you later when it's done and uh, my my pan is just about getting hot I want my pan very hot I don't want my steaks to go in there and sweat I want them to cook immediately so I'm gonna throw them in this thing I'm gonna be using some tongs because remember never poke a steak because you lose the juices and you don't want to lose your juice so here we go tongs not tongs like tongs so um, I'm gonna put these in the my skillet, very high temperature. I'm checking now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it real hot. So when I go in there, it's gonna fry. It's gonna cook it right away. 
on the outside, I shear it, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven to finish it off. So let me open the window because it might, this might get a little bit smoky. Oh, so they say. Oh. They say it gets smoky when you cook the steak at high high temperature. Okay. So it goes my steaks. They are small, yeah. But that's how you eat filet mignon. You know, you eat it, and you know. And then, that's the way it is. Just the way it is. So <clears throat> I think my uh, I got my oven preheated at 350, and now in about another minute or so, because my my skillet is getting hot. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna throw it in there with some butter. I'm gonna be using some thyme. And uh, I think that's it. Ah, uh, maybe I'll put some garlic. Yeah, I got squeezable garlic here. Amazing, right? Squeezable. So I'm gonna put some, so I'm gonna cook it with butter, garlic, and some thyme. Thyme, okay, the seasoning. Not thyme, okay, don't be funny. Okay, so here we go. Let's put this down. And you are gonna see how I'm gonna cook these things, okay? Watch the pan. And so this, I'm gonna put the butter on top. This is gonna help it get this nice crusty taste. Okay. And again, they wrapped with a there's a wire there and they wrapped with bacon, so. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll make the best of it. So watch how this sizzles. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so it's sizzling immediately as I put it in there. Now I'm gonna put, like I said, some some thyme. Where the hell is that thing in here? Oh, well, let's get it like this. We're gonna put some thyme in here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put some garlic, a little, little bit of garlic. Not too much, I'm gonna burn it, right? Garlic burns. And here goes the garlic. Squeezable garlic is amazing what they come up with nowadays. Squeezable garlic in a jar. Look at that. Garlic. Squeeze garlic is called it. And it's delicious. So, two minutes on each side. Okay. And then I'm going to flip it around. Then I'm going to stick it in the oven to finish off. <laughs> By that time, my potatoes should be done. Then my garlic, my bread, I'm going to toast it. Then I have some asparagus here with, with a little bit of butter there and some garlic. Toast it up, and we should be eating dinner in about 10 15 minutes from now, so stay tuned. So it's been, it's been about two minutes, so let's flip it to the other side. Look at that. Oh, okay. Look at that. Okay. So remember, never squeeze it, never stab it, because you'll lose the juice, okay? So let that cook in there naturally. And then we are going to shear. Shearing means that I'm going to flip it to the side, I'm going to cook it. You know, like I'm going to go like this. Gonna, as you can see, this is already breaking up, so the meat is already. It's very tender meat, matter of fact. And I'm gonna cook it on the sides. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna cook it on this, all the sides and everything. And then the only thing I have to worry about is the middle, and that's gonna be the oven's job to cook it through thoroughly. And of course, you eat filet mignon medium rare, so, so if you dry this piece of miller, a piece of this miller, filet mignon, if you went to the supermarket, it costs about 10 bucks. And if you wanna cook that overcook and spend 10 bucks, that's on you. But that's not the way you eat filet mignon. Uh, you'll see a wire there that's holding the bacon. And of course, we'll, that will come off before we eat, okay? So, stay stay tuned, because I'm gonna continue cooking this. Now folks, you see how my steaks look? This whole thing is going into the oven. And, uh, and we're gonna continue cooking in the oven. So folks, I'm, just, I'm, to I'm toasting my nice toasty butter bread, and my steak is in the oven. A couple more minutes, I'm gonna take it out. I think it's done, it smells good. And uh, not that much smoke, and I have my potatoes in the oven, and uh, you, you're gonna see how everything looks in another about another two minutes, two three minutes. So, folks, this is tasting great. It's got a good flavor. I just tasted it a little bit. It is great. My bread is in the oven, toasting up, and we are gonna be eating in about maybe two minutes. I, actually, I'm gonna stay, take the steaks out. When you take the steaks out, always leave the steaks out to cool down a good three to five minutes. Because what it does is that the meat continues cooking and the juices stay inside. If you take it out and cut into it, all the juices come out and you lose your juices. And you know how to do that. So always lay the steak to the side. Don't serve it immediately. Let the, let the juices in there with the heat continue cooking for a good three to five minutes and then, uh, then serve it, okay? 
Because you see that you cut the steak and there's like all this juice all over the place. That's no good. You're losing your juices. So stay tuned. The steaks are looking good. Uh, let me let me just give you a sneak preview. There they go. Look at the steaks. Look at that. And these are the potatoes. They sort of are uh, like the old ground potato made into little cups. And um, yeah. And we have the asparagus here. And we are going to eat in about another two minutes. I'm going to put this on the plate, take it to the table, and I'm going to show you because everything looks better at the table. So, folks, the steaks are at the table, and we are going to go eat and come with me to the table. So, yeah, folks, the steaks are done. I know you guys are probably saying these guys are crazy. They eat very good, rich. Yeah. Well, that's, you, know, you gotta eat once in a while, rich. So, anyway, but this is good stuff on a Sunday. Uh, and it's not too much meat, so you know, it's uh, digestible. You know, your body will digest it by the time we go to sleep. And uh, let's turn it. So, there goes the steak. It was a wire holding the bacon. It's medium done, I believe. And there it goes. This is the whole thing. And I know you guys probably say, whoa, that's not a man's steak. Well, Filet Mignon is eating like this. It's small pieces, and that's the way it is. It's not a big, giant steak. It's not a tomahawk steak, you know? And that's why you put vegetables, and you put potatoes, and you put bread and stuff to, to fill it up. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Well, let me just take a picture of the whole table there. So yeah, folks, so before I say goodnight and uh, welcome you to a new week, I'm like, we're gonna taste this together. Okay, so stay tuned. The minute we've been all waiting for. Look at that. Nice and done on the outside. A little red on the inside, and let's taste it. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's like butter. Mm. For living on you know, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Mm. So soft. Very Can soft. It. Delicious. Mm. Can't eat for the mignon all the time because you're going broke, but once in a while you gotta treat yourself. Let me try a piece of this potato and then I'll let you guys know. Because I gotta go eat. It was good. Yeah. It's creamy. The creamy, they, it's all ground potatoes actually. And what they did was they put it into a cup and they made it shaped like a like a cup. So, folks, this dinner is delicious. Sorry you're not here, but I have to enjoy it. We have to enjoy it. Today. So anyway, guys, tomorrow's the start of a new week. New things, new stuff. Where the, the year is coming to an end. Hopefully next year brings better and bigger things for everyone, for all of us. Uh, we definitely have a new mayor. And uh, just stay safe. And I'll see you guys uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We got a busy schedule this week. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys keep me going. And all my new people out there, I got a few new uh, fans out there that started watching my... I really thank you. I really thank you. You guys know who you are. And even people, I noticed... I went to my old neighborhood and people would tell me, hey, I see your videos, but they never comment on me. So now, you know, makes me feel good now. They're, hey, I see your, I see your, your segments and now I know that they watch it, but nobody comments. Hey, you gotta comment, come on. Uh, and on YouTube, Cooking with Uncle Jesse. Try to look for it. it. It's there somewhere. Look for it. See you guys tomorrow. Love you. Ciao.